If there's nothing pressing, let's take a walk. Hey, uh, there's something I need to tell you. These would be Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. We're here to help. March, try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? Oh, you're the one getting excited. Oh, my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. Miss March, Mr. Yang, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jing Yan! Give me the photos! Coming, coming! Stop yelling! <sighs> Thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the General and the Master Diviner. This was two days before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm, I see. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? Who's he? I'd like to see more information on him. Which one? Let me see. Resting? Boring! I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what was it again? Locha. His name is Locha. That's right, Locha. He came to the Xianzhou with a huge box this time. Some sort of funerary contraption. It had a funny name. Something to do with coughing? It was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. A coffin. It's a tool that certain non-Shenzhou travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Huh. <laughs> I swear he said coughing. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Xianzhou is squeaky clean. As for this caffeine thing... Coffin. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the Lafu, each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that must be Loch's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily, but I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? 
That's complicated. Come with me to the Foursquare Mirror. It'll be easier to explain. Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher-ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psychranes stationed in the area. Lacha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Up until the day before the resurrection, there was nothing suspicious about his behavior. Oh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron! If that were the case, the Realm Keeping Commission would have arrested him by now. Why look to us for help? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, this is gonna be a tough case to crack if even my instincts are off. <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic, I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because we have no idea what he did that day. The resurrection brought about unusual yin-yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration, and the data from that day before was badly affected. We will, in due course. But we can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. So, if you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some way, make it known. Then I can arrange for his detention and interrogation. How should I put this? He just looks kind of... Uh, Mr. Yang, you were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to judge a book by its... Sorry. What I mean is... Hmm, it's difficult to explain, but my instinct tells me this Law Cha is involved somehow. Apologies. Uh, I realize this is personal speculation. That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any Realm Keeping Commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me something's not right, and there's usually a reason for it. I'm with you on this one. Be that as it may, as an official, I can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. Precise- No! What are you talking about? <sighs> anyway, if you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the Foursquare Mirror. Jingyan, you'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. Ugh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? <clears throat> ah, not at all. Make sure you don't leave the Commission. Just help them check the Psycrane footage. Keep me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. One thing, though. Don't approach him. If you make a discovery, contact me first. We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Don't worry. The Express Crew keeps its promises. We won't disappoint you. <sighs> Jingyan, over to you. I need to get going. Understood. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready.